But I think we underestimate one that isn't automatically an easy policy fix, and that's raising the, the respect for the teaching profession. And the question asked to the first panel was about how accountability might negatively impact the teaching profession. The teachers that I speak with in Virginia are not afraid of, nor do they want to get away from accountability. What they want to get away from is unreasonable, inequitable accountability and micromanagement of their response to outcomes. And my fear is that in, in schools where we see the greatest outflow, teachers take a job until they can get the next job where their transfers aren't even recorded well for us because they're intra-district. So I get into this district and I stay at this school until a job opens up at a preferred site and then I move over there where we're, we're not even collecting that data because it looks like they're still in that district. They're just leaving those schools and that's why that principal has 27 openings. Many of those teachers stayed in that district. They just went to another school. What teachers say to us in those schools are, number one, hold me accountable fairly. Mm -hmm. Growth in ESSA gives us the opportunity to change the accountability paradigm. Yes. Because what teachers say is, hold me accountable for what I control. If I get a fifth grader who's at the second grade level, at the end of the year they're at the fourth grade level and you tell me I'm a failure, that's not what I see as fair and equitable accountability. I moved a student two years, and you're telling me I'm a failure. I'm going to go to another school. 